Okay, so this is the second XUAV Mini Talon that I've built. I've had quite a few requests to do a post build lock or post build video of this one. So here we are. Uh, if I start with the front, so I've got a 600 TV line Sony Super Had 2 camera. I've created a bit of space here so I could put a, either a Mobius or another small camera on. Um, I've got a pitot tube at the front here, which actually go pulls in and out. So should I crash, then uh, it would just recede um, back into the mounting. It's actually held in by a piece of um, heat shrink tubing. It's a bit difficult to see, uh, but it keeps it in place. And if I do crash, then it doesn't rip the tube out. Um, so as you can see here, I've got a flush mount side fed 2.4 gig clover running on one wing on the opposite wing i will be putting the gps as i have found that the existing gps where it's mounted you'll see in a minute uh, does pick up a bit of interference from the video transmitter um, if we just go back to the back so i run a hobby wing x rotor 40 amp esc on the back a 800 kV Tiger motor swinging a 10 by 7 folding prop. Uh, this combination is extremely uh, efficient and I can cruise around about 40 miles an hour pulling around about four and a half five amps. Um, as you can see I've got the control rods so I've got minimal deflection on the V-tail control surfaces. Um, this plane will roll and loop even in stabilization mode very easily. It's the, the control surfaces have so much authority in the air it's very easy to roll. So just show you the underside. Um, on the underside, so there's the the inner control again. Is that going to focus? Uh, maybe not. Let's try it this way. There we go, a little bit better. Uh, I've got Flytron strobes on each wing extreme, uh, so it's easier to see uh, when the light's getting a bit low. And I've also put a Flytron white strobe on the front as well. That will get covered with some um, clear plastic very soon. As you can see, I did do this skid mod on the back, but on the first flight, it broke. So I'll have to fix that at some point soon. So you may look at the antennas and think, yeah, it's running easy UHF. When in fact, I'm running the TBS Crossfire. Uh, these Sanderstar monopole antennas um, work out to around about half wavelength um, monopoles and work extremely well. Uh, range is definitely not impeded. Uh, if I can get a bit of light in here so you can see. So as you can see I've got the video transmitter there mounted on the side and that is the video transmitter cable. As you can see it's running quite close to the GPS which means I do get a little bit of interference but I'll fix that shortly because the GPS is going over here. So it's a bit of a mess on the inside but it all works very nicely. Um, I run a 4 cell 5 amp LiPo which gets me around about 30 miles. Um, I will be on this one this will have the BST, the Crossfire BST to the GPS connection very shortly. Um, and that will be so I can get the GPS coordinates and other telemetry when they decide to implement it back to the transmitter. So here we are. Um, any questions please ask. Again more information on www.efpv.co.uk. Safe line and bye for now.